guys, time to crank that amp. Mm. So, now when I have turned down the volume just a tad, yeah, that works. Uh, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on the guitar and how to play and so on. So here is tip number one, drop D. Yeah, you know, you can actually tune, tune your guitar, you know, right? Here is a D string. You can take the first thickest string and Tune it down to D. And that way, when you use your first finger on the first three strings, you're actually making a chord. Turn down the gain just that. <laughs> there we go. That's tip number one. Beautiful guitar. Okay, tip number two. Since I showed you guys how to play in a drop D or how to tune in to a drop D. Here we go. Here's a drop D. I'm gonna show you how to do an open tuning. Okay. What is an open tuning? Tuning is pretty much you playing, you tune all six string into an open chord. So you can play with one finger, pretty much. You can do that now, right? I'm gonna make so the guitar is tuned to a D. Let's do it, okay. It's a long time since I last did that, so sorry. Anyway, now you can play a D while holding a guitar like this. Anyway, this way you can actually make your own songs, obviously, and that way you can get more inspired to make even more songs, especially with an open D, because, or open G or open C, choose whatever you want. Uh, that way you kind of have to force yourself to make some chords like this one you, know, you already started, trust me Number two, tip number three. Okay, let's say you're playing on a stage, right? And you break a string, middle of the song. What do you do? Especially if you have a Floyd Rose bridge. What do you do? Well, you kind of have to change your uh, guitar, ASAP. That means that you need to have an extra guitar with you up on the stage. So, that's why I have more than one guitar with me at least on stage. If I'm playing here, sure, I got seven guitars there, one there. Actually, I have six guitars there and one there. One is loaned out, so. Yeah, that's tip number three. Okay, tip number four, your guitar pick. You know when it's getting all dull and annoying to play with? 
you can actually sharpen it with your doormat. All you have to do is rub it against the doormat, like this. And that's it. Just take the stuff that comes off, off the pick, like that. And it's sharp and good as new. Don't know if you can see that on the camera anyway. It's sharp. It's all nice again. So yeah, there you go. Tip number four. Tip number five. Vibrato. Vibrato. Like that. the difference between other players. Um, let's say Yngwie Malmsteen, right? He got a certain vibrato on his style. He got this deep, really ah uh, <laughs> vibrato, okay? I, I really, really like that vibrato. And my vibrato? Sounds something like that. The thing is, all you need to do is grab the G string on the E note and just just grab it with your finger and shake the string. All the shaking comes with your wrist. Okay, this sounds so wrong. Okay, <laughs> comes with with your wrist. So all you have to do is grab the string and just. Make sure your finger is stuck. My finger doesn't move, it's the wrist that does all the work for you. Here's a very important one that you actually practice every single day. And when you nail it, the girl's gonna drop their panties for you. Or the boy's gonna drop their pants for the girls. Uh, they are most, like, most likely gonna do that anyway. Um, okay, smacking. Uh, it's Bending, bending, bending the string, in this case the G string. Just make sure you're in tune. Do like that all over the neck. And just practice it day in, day out and you will become really good at it at it. I'm not good at it, I swear to God. Also make some faces while you're doing it. Without the faces it's like eating food without taste. So yeah, you better do some faces. So yeah, that's tip number six for you. Bending. Tip number seven. Okay, there's no rules when you play guitar. No rules at all. So go ahead and play how you want to and whatever style you want to. Okay? Good examples. I've seen a guitar player with no arms is using his feet to play the guitar. It actually sounds good. 
just YouTube it. I've seen some players they play with their hands like this. I've seen a blind player do that. It actually sounds good. I like it the more normal way. What is normal anyway? I've seen people using their thumb. I'm one of them. I tend to mute strings with my thumb. Uh, I tend to use the strings by playing the strings with my thumb. And so on. So there's no rules when you play guitar. So yeah, if it sounds good, it's good. If it sounds bad, it's most likely bad, unless you want it bad. So yeah, then it's actually good if you want it bad. Uh, yeah, catch my drift here. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. Okay? So yeah, there's no rules when you play guitar. So yeah, keep that in mind. So if the book tells you you absolutely need to only play like that, find another book. If a teacher tells you that you can't play with your thumb when playing the guitar, find another teacher. Simple as. Tip number eight. Relaxing. So when you play, right? Let's say you're into a five minutes shred solo. Just flat out shred 180 BPM or something. And going 16th notes or whatever um, of those five minutes. And if you don't relax while doing that, you're gonna hurt yourself quite hard, actually, if you keep doing it. Um, so please relax and also you are playing way faster when you are more relaxed. So yeah, let's say you, just my picking hand. I've got my pick here. When I do like this, when I'm playing fast, 16 notes, 16th notes, hard to say, my three fingers is actually loose. I'm not doing anything with those so they're just relaxing and I'm only using my wrist I'm not using my whole arm my arm is just resting on the guitar like this and, and that is that I'm just putting my this part of my hand down to the bridge and, and that way I'm, uh, I can play way faster instead of using my whole arm so your shoulder's gonna hurt if you do that. So yeah, that's a good tip for you. Just relax when you play. It's so much better and so much nicer and you can play for way longer. So yeah, just relax when you play. Relax. Go to some Qigong or something while you're doing or yoga while playing. Okay, relax. Alright guys, that was 8 good tips for you, I hope. Uh, but yeah, so please subscribe and comment on my channel and this video and like and so on. Oh yeah, by the way, please, if you want to suggest something, please just send me a message or comment on this video right below there. And to... You know, if you want to learn something special, something that I know how to do, I can easily show you that. So please go ahead and do that. So um, And you know, I like to have some fun in my videos, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, so enjoy everything that you have seen and um, if you learned something, if you haven't learned something, please just tell it. Okay, then I can improve it. Okay. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night, winter, summer, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Enjoy the video. Okay. Take care.